Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, May 30th, 2020. We are doing week 77 and 78's update today. It's like a dual episode. <laughs> it, it, it is. <laughs> so. We kind of goofed up last week. We had a lot of things going on. Um, just, we lost my grandma. She was in, uh, it was a senior care assisted? Assisted living. Assisted living for seniors. And um, she ended up coming down with respiratory issues, which they said was COVID related. And then like two days later, we got a call that said she'd passed. Mm -hmm. So um, that hit us hard. And then all of a sudden, Stacy's schedule changed to like 4 a.m. Yeah. So we were rushing that morning that we were supposed to be doing an update that she was supposed to be at work at 4 a.m. We were going to try and still squeak it in. And she got up just in time to get out the door and get to work, much less get our update in. And it's been one of those kind of weeks. Life happens. It has been. It's been crazy. So I was doing the opening schedule, but I've also been doing the closing schedule for Camas because the park system has been crazy with cancellations and the park extensions. And so I've been working until midnight. On those days, so yeah, our our schedules have been nuts. And then when we're not between the jobs like that, and some of them start at four a.m. and don't end till midnight, uh, we're outside in the yard working on our landscaping. Mm -hmm. For the five years we've been living here, and we just finally have decided to put something out besides rock, weeds, and rocks. And it looks beautiful. <laughs> and the and, there. and we've been doing masks. Well, I've been doing mask and bills between t-shirts. So it's been Did nine shirts last night. Yep. Okay. More, more shirts. So yeah, it's been crazy. Well, let's get to some numbers because I know some people don't like to hear us babble. That's Absolutely. that's the comments that I get. Right. <laughs> so we've got um, on Bill's last weigh-in. He on May twenty third, he was three twenty nine point two, which was point two up from the prior week. Right. Uh, and then this morning he was at three twenty six point four, so down two point eight pounds. Yeah. Yay! And I've been um, still doing my. I did a week of OMAD mm -hmm. that one week where I was just doing the one meal, and my calories averaged from seven hundred to about thirteen hundred, depending on what I ate that day um, for that one meal. And I kind of left the window open for about a forty-five minute window. Um, I didn't really see any difference because the weight was up point two. Right. Uh, and then this last week, I just been working my butt off. I've been outside. Killing myself with all the stuff that Stacy's got me doing in the yard. And, uh, you know, maybe I sweated off a pound or two because <laughs> I, I didn't change keto too much. I just still sticking to my 16 8 windows and still trying to just eat simple. Uh, yeah. I still am trying to stay away from the artificial sweeteners, which I feel is helping. My blood sugar has uh, definitely come down. My, my meter gives me. Uh, averages. Oh, yeah. And from 90 days ago, it was 187 average. And from this last one, it was 149 average. So it is coming down, and that's going to help me get closer to getting back into ketosis, Very which cool. is, I think my main battle is sugars, you know, get, yeah. get my sugars down and get back into ketosis and hopefully get things moving again. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm hopeful. Very hopeful. So for me, um, the week prior was 137.6. It was Shark Week um, on the 16th, so I, I went up to 138.6. So I went up a pound, um, retaining tons of water. And then this morning, I weighed in at 136.4, so down 2.2 pounds. Hmm. Those are good things. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. And now you're being more active at work. And yes. In most capacities, you're getting more steps in again and... Things of that nature, right? I was averaging about 2,400 steps, and now I'm back up to 22 to 24,000 uh, 24, steps, excuse me. And that's great. I mean, yeah. that's killing my laps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on a good day, I might get 12,000. Yeah. Uh, on a kind of a more sedentary day where I'm not busting butt in the yard, I get about six, you know? Yeah. So you're getting me, you're lapping me like four times. <laughs> Yeah, so it's definitely, it's been nice to get moving again. I'm still not releasing my shoulder. I go, um, or collarbone, I should say, but in the shoulder. Uh, I go to the ortho on Tuesday to see what's going on. I still got quite a bit of pain, but... I wonder if they do another x-ray to just see where I don't at. know, but I had, you know, right here is where I um, fractured the collarbone and pulled the ligament. They can still feel the tightness of where I pulled the pectoralis muscle and then 
where it's giving me a lot of trouble is right here where I have um, separation from the joint. You're getting old. <laughs> I celebrated a birthday. Yeah. Speaking of getting old, she's 29 again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't I'm mind. I'm smart. Saying. I've been married for 30 years. I know how this works. Age doesn't bother me. I turned 49 um, on Thursday, the 28th. And Welcome to the Almost 50 Club. I know, right? Yeah. And the best doesn't birthday present better. that I got. What was the best birthday present you got? I have a new niece. Yay. I'm so excited. Her name is London Hope. Um, so she was born on my birthday. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> but I got to hang out with Bill all day. He was stuck with me one, all day. I had the full day the off. The one day I saw you. Yep. It was nice. We did a lot of yard work, We got too. a lot of... Bill show a picture and looks really good. Yeah, it's getting there. So and my flowers are blooming. Life is good. We ran out of mulch, so... <laughs> We've been trying to hit other stores to find this mulch, and we can't find it. So we'll, we'll finish. It. We'll finish it. We just gotta dig around, and find some more. That's all. Exactly. But we're getting there. We are. And today, Stacy doesn't work till nine thirty, so we're actually up at like eight. We got to sleep in till eight. That's yeah. Really nice. Still didn't get to bed on time like I should have, but you know. I went to bed earlier, but still not. Like I should have. <laughs> Need a shirt that just says "work in progress" because I'm working on it. But I'm—I'll be honest. I'm human, and I, I goof, and then next thing you know, I'm looking at the clock, saying I need to go to bed. But we're we're one away from the final episode of Ozark. Yes, we are in season three, episode nine. We finished. <laughs> we squeaked it in last night, late after shirts and after masks. And I said, "Do you want to be bad and stay up and watch this real quick before bed?" And she's like, "Yes." Because we want to finish Ozark so we know what's going on, like everybody else in the world knows what's going on who's watched Ozark. So we have one episode left. I wanted to watch it this morning and Bill's like, no. No, sleep until late. <laughs> yeah, we didn't want to get up just to watch that. But we'll watch it maybe tonight. Are you doing a dual, dual job tonight? No, so maybe tonight. They've called and nice, asked. Make a nice dinner and sit down and finish Ozark tonight. Okay. That would be really nice. That would be wonderful. And then we'll be up to date like the rest of the world on what's going on with Ozark. It'll um, be the finale, so I'm assuming there's going to be some cliffhangers and things like that. I'm not happy right now, but I won't say why. In Ozark. Oh, yeah. Wait, we don't want to give that away if somebody hasn't seen the program and like not watching us. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're a little behind the world, but, you know, we're trying to catch up. Yeah. One of our characters is... Assumed to be, pretty much assumed to be gone. But they didn't Aww. have the heart to show us <laughs> that happened, so we're a little sad. Yeah, no. It's like on Vikings, if they kill Floki, I'm done. <laughs> right now, Floki's like a mystery, and they keep saying that Floki is off and doing his thing and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, you kill Floki, I'm done. So let's see what happens, because I'm going to stop watching if they kill him. Floki's the, Floki's the best part about that show. And then, the, like when they killed Ragnar right in the beginning of it, and I'm like, really? So, yeah. No, I got issues with Vikings. <laughs> Stacy halfway watches Vikings. She's usually on her computer, and she's kind of, every once in a while, she'll look up, and then I'll have to pause the thing and explain to her, okay, this guy was married to that girl, but now he's not married to her, and he's with this other girl. There's a lot a of kid. infidelity yeah, in Vikings. There's a lot of things in Vikings that need explanation because things don't make sense. <laughs> So, every once in a while, I have to bring her up to speed with a pause and a quick talk. And then she'll kind of be into it for like two episodes, and then for like two or three, she's not even around. And then I bring her right back up to speed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, um, apologies again for not getting in there last week. And that was the first week we never really fully got a video in. And, and I even was pressuring Stacy. I'm like, come on, we got to get our video in from Saturday. We didn't make it. And it just it just didn't happen. It was crazy. You know, even Memorial Day, we were actually closed at Costco, which was great. But I worked for the Park District all day. All day. I mean, they've been calling me. I've been averaging about four hours a week with the Park District which until like nice the last yeah, a month, month or so. I've been averaging anywhere from 16 to 22 hours. Um, they're just calling me. They called me last night, please. And I'm like, oh. No. So I didn't I didn't log in last night. Um, they've already asked for today and tomorrow. No, Ozark tonight. Ozark tonight. But yes. yeah, so it's been crazy. I think I may have overextended myself a little bit. Yeah, if you <laughs> go back to our videos from October when Stacy said, I'm going to be leaving the park 
reservations and life's going to get a lot simpler and we're going to have like nine to five job and I'm going to see you all the time. We're going to have dinner together. Yeah, uh, I knew that wasn't going to happen. Well, I, I even hard... said it then. I called it. I, I said, I, this isn't going to happen. That's not going to happen. I have a hard time saying no. You know, I know that they need help. I know they're swamped. I've been that agent that's been, you know, in a queue with 20 calls waiting. And I have a hard time saying no, too, because I want to see you. <laughs> I never see you. So, but anyway, we are working on that. And, um, yeah, I know they need the help right now. So, and we're just happy to have the work. Absolutely. And I've been really keeping busy with shirts. Uh, nine last night, just out of the impromptu real quick. Make me some shirts, make me some, and you had a couple too. Yeah. So had to get that done. If I don't keep up with it, it'll get overwhelming. And then right. I'll have like 24 shirts to do in three days. And I'll be like, oh, I don't want to do 24 shirts today. <laughs> yeah. So I just try and keep up with, you know, four to eight to 12 when it's needed. Yeah. So, and we're coming into the weekend and that's when everybody comes home and says, give me a quarantine and chill shirt or something. And then the next thing you know, I'm busy again. <laughs> I put it on Facebook and then like 12 people will say, I want that shirt too. So it happens. That's okay. It's, yeah. It's it's all good. No, it's, it's good. all good. We Keeps appreciate me busy. it. Yeah. Keeps me busy. And I, and I like being busy. So it's good. It's good. Well, guys. Uh, oh, we do have one other video that I'm begging like a little lamb. Like, bag. I'm begging. Stacy to make. Uh it's for low carb. It is. And it is a bread mix. Mm -hmm. I'm and excited then, about it. I just. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we just got to find it. I mean, I would try it, but I'll just butcher it. And I don't want to do that to them. The disservice of <laughs> what it would turn out like if I tried yeah. to make it. I don't know if you just add water or if it's eggs and oil or anything. I don't know exactly. Don't but it's a mix and it's bread. And I'd like to try it. Okay. Yeah. So everybody in the comments, tell Stacy, we want to see you make that bread. <laughs> I want to taste the bread too. I want to taste the bread. I've been very happy with everything they've sent us from lowcarb.com. So, yeah, so we're we'll excited for the bread. Let's uh, maybe we'll try and get Ozark in and take like 27 minutes and just set up a camera and get your uh, low carb bread going so that people can watch you on Sunday, let's say. Oh, that's... you going to commit to it or no? <laughs> no, I'm not, no, not, not committing to today. Soon, it's coming. Soon, it's coming, though. It's coming soon. You want to look fresh. I'll have bed worked all day and... That's true. Yeah. Me, I know, I look pretty much the same. A little more bags on the eyes some days, but other than that, pretty much the same. Oh, I gave myself another haircut. This one I did myself. Um, I don't know if you can see, but... Uh, good. It's shorter than the last haircut where I did the Floby. What I ended up doing was ordering the shorter extensions that Floby carries. So you go D D D D D on your head. That's how it goes. D D D D D. And uh, I did a shorter haircut on my own. I think it was about two, three days ago. All by ago. yourself. Like a All big by boy. myself, like a big boy. And no mess. I really like that thing because it just sucks it up. It goes right <laughs> in the little vacuum thing. You don't even have any hair on the counter or the floor. Or And I'm kind of weird like that. I don't like little hairs everywhere. And uh, yeah, does. and it works well. It's 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 even. Yeah. It's fast and easy. And I don't know. I, I think it's a winner for me. It was as much as Stacy laughed during the entire last video. I watched it, and I'm like, "Gee, Stacy!" Every time I look at you, because I was sitting and I couldn't see her, and her face was just like. Every let work, they're like, "Did you did you do the flow I said I did. Yeah. <laughs> like, how the haircut come worked. out? I said, "Good." It's funny because everybody at work, their hair is so long and the guys are like, okay, a couple of them just completely shaved their head. Yeah. And completely that's me. <laughs> and that's me usually. I would just peach fuzz it, especially with it getting warmer now. Too. Right. We've been out in the yard and stuff and I was like, you know, I'm going to try this shorter extension for Floby. So instead of coming out to here, it gets closer like, like this. So yeah, it worked great for me. Yeah. I'm, I'm really a fan. <laughs> and it's so easy. I just pull it out. I turn it on and I just kind of bop it around to get the right thing going and and she for some reason laughs her butt uh, off but, but hey you don't have to give me a haircut hey that's number one <laughs> number two we don't have to spend any money on it and i can't get a haircut anyway because nothing's open so yeah and there's no mess so like three main things no mess it no does money. it does good but it's just it's just funny to think that the vacuum cleaner has given you a haircut yeah and it works <laughs> it does 
It works well. It, it gives them. It's a, not even our vacuum. It's their own little container right. vacuum, which is the cool part. <laughs> I don't know. I just kind of like the thing. And then the fact that, you know, oh, I kind of want a haircut. Because there have been times I need a haircut and I either A, didn't have the money to go get it or I was too lazy to go drive into town and get it. Now I can't anyway. But um, the, where I would just shave my head and then she'd get mad at me because I just literally shaved my head and looked like a skinhead. And she's like, why did you do that to your hair? Well, now I can just pull that out and get a regular looking haircut. Right. So now I get a normal haircut. Uh, I, it just, it's funny. Agree with me, guys. I'm funny. Let me know. I'm weird. Well, you are funny. You're here to amuse me. I'm funny but... like, yeah. I'm funny <laughs> like I'm here to amuse you. Yeah. No, but it's... Like it, I'm a clown? Like I'm here right, to amuse you? Absolutely. But it's everybody's at work, they're like... He, did you, did you use that Floby yet? I said, actually, yes. I said we did. And it gave him a really good haircut. And I showed oh. them the picture. And they were like, oh, that's pretty good. I'm not embarrassed by it at all. I think it's a cool, I think it's a funny infomercial from the 80s. Right. But it works. They're it like, works well. And it works for women, too. Yeah, it does. The, the extensions are in there. You can, yep. And before you turn the cutter on, you put it in and you could see the length that you're cutting. You're, you're going to get a straighter cut for like a bang or something from that than you are from anybody eyeballing. Guaranteed. Oh, thank you. Works for me. As long as it works for you, baby. Yeah. Not for me. That's fine. Your hair looks good. I don't, I don't know when you got it cut last, but it looks good. It's been like forever and a day. Oh, it looks good, I think. <sighs> and you can clean up the ends if you're getting low. I don't even see it, though. Girl, that's girl stuff. I just, <laughs> I don't really pay attention to all that. <laughs> You're going to get your hair in your contact again. Uh, Yesterday, she got a hair up under her contact lens. It was the oddest feeling. I felt I had to keep my eye closed because I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to lose my contact. And the optical's not open. So I'm going, uh, you know, without contacts or glasses, I can see about right here. I'm <laughs> completely blind. So um, I had my eye closed and I was trying to, and it was attached to my head. So I was trying to pull it. I could feel it moving under the contact and against the eyeball. It was not good. Ugh! It was the weirdest feeling. I finally got it out, and then I was afraid to open my eye because I'm like, if I lose my contact, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'd feel bad. Do you have a spare contact like in your? Work I, I don't, but I should. You now. should. You should have one of both <laughs> yeah. eyes, just in case. Learned my lesson yesterday. Yeah, you never know. You're gonna spill something or blink wrong. Well, normally I just say, "Oh, I'll go over. I'll go over to optical." Yeah, they're not well, open. Well, optical. Well. Yeah, to grab a pair of contacts from Not the doctor. Not for contents for the doctor, yeah. so I don't know. But I, I, but I made if, it. I don't know if we're ever going to open back up. This world is we just We are. So Yesterday weird. when I went to work, um, all the glasses were out at Optical. Um, oh, they're starting to put those out photos for Photos back come open. Uh, they had the jewelry back out. You still can't do jewelry yet. Um, I think I read something that samples were coming back. And that, um, what was the other thing? Samples and food court food was going to extend... Yeah. Beyond just a hot dog or a piece of pizza. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe life will be getting better. I don't know. They tell us June 12th, I think, is our next for Michigan. And uh, I'm waiting on the 8th or the 9th for them to say We're June 30th. It. Yeah, or what? Because that's what they keep doing. That two yeah. weeks has turned into, what, three months now? Two months? Two and a half months? It's crazy. All right, guys. Well, thank you for hanging out with us. Yeah. And uh, we got two and one on this one. So you get a little extra babble from us, you know, for the ones that do stick around for the babble. Right. Uh, our next update will be the first Saturday of the month for the way that that falls. Yeah. I think on the 7th it comes in. Something like that. Something like that. And uh, that'll be pictures and stuff. I'm not really feeling like I'm seeing a lot of difference in the picture parts. Uh, mm -hmm. Even on our weekly updates, you go up one or two, and I, I kind of feel like it's a little, you know, a little bit boring. I don't know if we should maybe switch to a format of maybe the first Saturday of every month doing a, an update like this that gives the weight of... Because you could give the weight for each week and then give right. the the starting weight for that first Saturday of the month. Right. And just have one update a month where you're just saying, okay, for the last three weeks, here's what I weighed. Here's what I weighed today. Yeah. And it's a monthly update with a picture. Yeah. I, don't I don't know. Let us know in the comments. Yeah. What do you think? Should we do it that way so it's not as boring? Or do you want... So... You know, I get comments like, you know, you guys babble too much. And then I get other comments like, oh, we like to see you guys and see what's going on with your life. If they, don't, if they don't like it, they don't have to watch. Yeah. And we well, appreciate them watching, but you know what? We I, certainly get our thumbs down <laughs> on whatever video we release. It could 
cure cancer and it's still going to get thumbs down sometimes. Don't take it personally. No. If you didn't do it personally. No, no. I Heck, I wouldn't even it. be on YouTube if I took it personally. Right. I'd just be like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> no, we wanted to share that with everybody and for us for the accountability too. So we can look back and at times where I'm not feeling like I'm losing anything or doing very well. I'll go back two, three, four months, six months, a year ago yeah. and, and say, wow, look at the difference in our video even. And it, and it helps. Even with you on Facebook the other day, she had a, one of those memory things that pop up. If you're familiar with Facebook, it was 10 years ago. Yeah. And the picture from 10 years ago versus the picture from recent today, like of the of that day, um, oh my gosh, you look so much younger. You look so much happier. You, you know, obviously a good 50 pounds thinner and, uh, yeah. So, so those kind of memories or those kind of things where you go back to one of your first videos and you see the differences. <laughs> wow. What a difference. Yes. Yeah. So that's encouraging. And, uh, yes. for me too, I'm, I'm still in my journey. You're pretty much where you need to be, but I'll get there. I'm going to keep you continue. Yeah. I, I got no problem with my the keto sticking with that. I just yeah. got to get the sugars going down and continue the weight loss. So we'll I'm just busting my butt like you're doing to me in the yard. Got to do it. Got to do it. Yeah. Get it done. Get it done. Get her done. Get her done. Get her done. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you All so right. much for watching. And we appreciate the... The support, support the input. and the input and the uh, everything and just dealing with us. <laughs> yeah, it happens. It happens. Life happens, it like does. I said. Sorry again that we didn't make it last week, but hey, at least we filled it in here and we kind of explained what was going on with our lives because uh, it wasn't that we were blowing keto off. It just uh, it was a little overwhelming for a day or two there, and then I never saw you. I don't see you that often anymore. So we're working on that. We're working on that. It's a work in progress. Ah. Bye. Now you're going to leave me. I am. Just yeah. for work. And then I'll be back because we're going to watch Ozark and have that dinner that you promised you were going to And make. make that bread, right? No, not tonight. Why? <laughs> what? Well, you just talked about that. Come on now. Not tonight. Fine. Fine. See you all later. Bye. Bye.